What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more of our Sonic Adventure 1 playthrough. It's been a little while since i played this, but I definitely want to get back into it, so we're not going to waste any time, man. I want to hurry up and get through this game so we can get to Sonic Adventure 2, which will really be... What the fuck? I can't see my character. I don't know, maybe this is a glitch with the game, but um... Anyway, so, where we left off. I'm Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. Can't believe I lost Amy. When she captured by the robot that was following us, I just knew Amy was going to cause me trouble like this, but I can't ignore what happened. Amy, where the fuck did they take you? Where should I start looking for? Yeah, so right now, it seems like Sonic is obsessed with Amy, and um, if you guys remember, Tails was in the plane when Eggman shot it down, so it's kind of a big question mark as to where the hell Tails is, but that'll come to play later on. As you guys can see, it is now nice time here in Station Square. Things are looking really, really lovely out here. Oh, what the hell's here? Wait, I don't think this is for us yet. That's not for us. This is for a different character. But, um, yeah, man, it's nighttime, so, of course. Oh, oh, yeah, now I remember. Um, did you walk around the whole city? I'm about to. Now, now I remember, though. So, if you guys remember the last episode, this little card, this key card, fell down here. We're gonna pick this up, and it says an employee card. I can use this to get into that building. Specifically, this building. Watch this. I always found this cool when I was a kid. I do check. Everything's good. I always wanted to keep this little card with me, but um, it really has no relevancy or use after you use it to open the door. So I'm just going to try to see if I can take it with me. Fuck it. Let's take it with me. It's probably not going to mean anything. We're not even going to be holding it probably by the time we enter the stage, but hey. We're at Speed Highway now. One of my favorite levels in Sonic Adventure 1. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, what the fuck? No. This game. <laughs> the glitchiness, man. The glitchiness. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's put in some work. Let's go, Sonic. Let's go. Man, this level is amazing. If you are a Sonic fan, you know a speed highway, man. This is a this is an awesome level, man. So many memories playing through this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's put some work in. Man, I always used to be a crazy dude and run on this thing. I've seen people that could just... Oh, man, it is crazy. Let's go. Woo! Let's go. Let's go, Sonic. Damn it, I fucked it up. <laughs> I'm not as good as I used to be. <laughs> Let's go. Damn it. I'm not as good as I used to be. The camera. That camera. Okay, um, I fucked up so bad in that part, but hey, whatever, you guys forgive me, right, you know, I'm, I'm trying out here. Okay, come on. Let's go! This part's pretty cool too, with the helicopter. Yeah! Oh, yeah, baby, let's go. I wanted to talk to Takao to see what she would say, but, uh, eh, whatever. Okay. These, do you see these cop things? Those things are really hard to kill, because the homing attack usually misses them. But, it, it's possible to kill them, but it just has difficulty hitting them. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Woo. Oh, I always used to love this part. Yep. Let's go. Let's use the light speed attack. Yeah, if they run into it, they die. Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys saw that bomb, right? That's basically a kill all. Oh, this is my favorite part of this level. This is my favorite part of this level. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Ah. Oh shit, I fucked up. Come on. Let's go. Let's put in some work. Let's put in some work, Sonic. Let's put in some work. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I used to be so good at this. I used to be so good at this. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. I used to be really, really good at this. Damn it. I used to be so good. Now, this is my favorite level. You guys are about to see my favorite level in Sonic Adventure 1, period. This, what you're about to see, is my favorite level. Let's go. Uh, the, the music is just... Immaculate to me in this level, man. And the design, like it's Station Square, but it's a different kind of Station Square, you know? His enemies and all that. 
you guys will see what I mean when I say that Station Square, basically. I mean, we are technically still in Station Square, you know? But, uh, okay, let me just see if I want to get that item. Not that it matters too much, but I mean, hey. Yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. Now, now you guys see, um, you guys see that little, wait, oh yeah, here we go, here we go. I think this is it. The freaking police cars, man, they're so hard to hit. You see that, right? They're so freaking hard to hit. Yeah, the cars hit you now. So unlike in regular Station Square where, you know, we can just walk through the city and the cars will get slow for us. No, they're not going to slow down here. They, they, they run right into you. Okay, um... Let's get at these. Um... Let's get, let's get a ride on one of these things. Come on, start driving. Start driving. Okay, fine. I'm not in the back. Okay, there we go. I'm on the... There we go. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, charging it up kills him. Oh shit, we fell. There we go. There we go. I wanted to do the wall running thing. I love this level. Fuck, man! Yeah, it's, I don't know how they expect you to keep a wall run up like that. There we go. Let's go. Yep, it's a great way to kill those things. Well, also, you guys, I don't know if I mentioned it, but if you use, if you have the thing charged up the way I do right now, you move slower and you don't jump as high. Yeah, kind of, kind of like a buff, kind of like a nerf, so you can't really walk around with it that much. Anyways, we are finally at the end of the level. This this last part is pretty short, but still, it's just amazing. With the music, the music does it for me, and then the level design too, with the cars and all that, it, it's, it's beautiful. I love it. And it's at dawn, so it's not in the daytime. It's, good. Yeah, it's cool. It's amazing. I love that level so much, man. Like that. Oh, okay, here we go. So now it's daytime here in Station Square. Let's see what the hell is new. Um, nothing really in the city too much. But we gotta we gotta go to that orb of light and see what the fuck's going on. You know, maybe we, maybe some new proceedings have happened. And we have to find Amy. She should still be in this city. All right, so Amy's still the focus right now. Yeah, look at this Cyber Net Inc. I wonder what that means. I and mean, I've always wondered as a kid. But anyways, now if you guys remember from the last episode, these dudes are still on strike, man. As you can see for you, like um, let's talk to them and see if the strike is making any progress. Finally, we got a chance to talk everything out. I hope the two sides don't make a lot of demands, but we are willing to compromise a little. So they're still on strike, but they're they're negotiating it out. So assume the train may just be open. We're sorry for any problems. You are having problems, right? Sorry. Yeah. Well, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog shouldn't, but for some reason he has to take the train to go to the Mystic Room and grab him just running. Which you think he'd do. Anyway, so let's go in here. We gotta look around for Amy. What's this bastard saying? Man, why do they have the homemade... Why do they have the spin dash button, the same button as the talk button? Like, I'm the hotel manager, call me if you need anything. By the way, about those three over by the pool. I wish they'd do that someplace else. Niggas is having a woogie? Oh, what the hell is this? Is this the dude in his thought girlfriend? Can you believe it? He was seeing another girl. I can't believe this. Oh, shit. I don't understand why you two are so angry. Try to relax, okay? The worst part is that nobody feels guilty. Yo, the three of you need to go to a hotel room, yo. And work this shit out. Yo, I can't believe as a kid this went over my head. I was just like, what are they doing? I don't understand this. <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> what the hell, man? I didn't... Wow. So he cheated on his thought girlfriend. So maybe she isn't a thought, you know? Hmm. With the hotel worker, nonetheless. That, because that girl that he cheated on her with, she's a hotel worker. Let's, anyway, Amy. let's see if Amy's. Oh, oh man. Okay. Where can she be? Ah, Sonic, help! I'll cut him off at the Mystic Ruins. So now, time to go to the Mystic Ruins. Damn it, all I want to do is talk to him. <sighs> the girl, that girl must be Amy, the one who lives downtown. Sonic, please, you gotta save Amy. 
So I guess everybody in the town saw that, huh? God damn. Okay, well, anyways, he said... So, just like that, suddenly... Wow, the camera in this game is really fucking crazy, man. How is it? I don't know, was it always this crazy? Because... I must have not noticed it as a kid. This is the first time I've seen the train workers go on strike. This big city is a lot of fun. You call it strike fun? It's fucked up. You know, giving people their rights. Let's see. Since the strike is over, what do you think? Will my dad come back soon? So the strike just suddenly ended as soon as they saw a fucking robot walking on the tracks. Then they knew, oh shit, maybe we should stop. <laughs> Time to go to the Mystic Ruins and save him. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. And there should be a worker up here. Oh wait, I forgot. There's usually something here. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. There, you'll, you'll see what I mean. There's usually something up here. Let me just uh, jump here. Turn the camera. Woo, what's that? What's that? What's a woo? Let's go. Got us another emblem, baby. You might be wondering what the hell the emblems are for, but ever since Sonic Adventure DX, when you get all the emblems in a game, you unlock a new character, a new super special secret character. Let me go, you hump the junk! I mean it! Hey there, bull brain! You better give Amy to me or I'll squash ya! So here goes Sonic, ready to save the goddamn day. <laughs> this is looking like it's about to be a fight. What's happening here? And it's the egg carrier. Once again, here to fuck up everyone's day. Stop! Sonic, help me! Shoot! I've lost her again! And the way the egg carrier is heading, it's heading towards that mountain with the hole in it. Oh, okay, it was gonna show us. I didn't know if it would show us, but as you guys can see, so we have to head in that direction. Oh, Obviously. Sonic, get to the mountaintop. You still have time. Now, even though you know Sonic is now on this mission to save Amy, which has become the main focus of the story right now, it does bring up the question: Why does Sonic? No, no, rather, why does Eggman want Amy Rose? Doesn't that raise that question in your mind? Why does Eggman want her, per se? Is he just kidnapping her for the for the nostalgia of it? Or is there something deeper to this? One thing I'll tell you, with Eggman as a character, he never does anything for no reason. Like, he never has, he never does something for no reason. He always has a really good reason as to why he makes his moves. And it's not for the sake of evil. Anyways, so now we are here. But if we turn around, what the fuck is this? As you guys can see here, this is an island, a big island which is totally separated from everything. Oh, well, no. I fucked up. All right, we gotta run back. That was kind of dumb. Okay, here we go. So now, as you guys can see, I'm just gonna try to change the camera angle a little bit for you dudes. Without killing myself, come on! No! Take number three. Let's do it. Okay. So now I'm going to try to change the camera angle for you dudes so you can see what I want you to see. I want you to see that... Um, fuck it. I got I to gotta jump off again. I got to jump off to show you. Because that island, is, that, that little place right there, some of you already know this, but just for you guys that don't, that's not like a like a you know a separate place that, that that's a whole freaking island itself oh shit there's an emblem look it's not connected to the ground you saw that it's not connected to the ground therefore that means that it's floating so to speak that that island is very important you guys see the relevancy of it as we get closer but wait a minute did you guys just see that emblem that was there how the hell are we supposed to get that there's an emblem there there, there was a freaking emblem there I don't know how to aim at it though I think we have to come back here as Tails, because there's no way we can get that emblem naturally. Not like this. Let me talk to this dude. Let's 
Did you see that flying battleship? That was cool. I wonder who made it. It flew off into the mountains. But I wonder if I should have followed it. Dude, you wouldn't be able to follow him. This is why we couldn't use the light speed dash to kill things. Because we had to get this. I totally forgot. I totally forgot about the existence of this item. This is the ancient light. Try the light speed dash toward the enemy. With this, you can now do the light speed attack. Yeah, so the whole charging up thing, and then he goes across rings, that can now be used to kill enemies. It's a freaking sporadic attack that works half the time, doesn't work half the time. And I think in one Sonic game it actually says, this attack has a very high chance of fucking up, but when it's successful, you kill everything that's on the screen. So, yeah, it's something we need to keep in mind. There was an emblem! I really want to get it with Sonic, but I don't think it's possible, man. Maybe it's possible, but it's just really difficult. I want to see if I can get it. I can see it at least. Because when you get all the emblems, you unlock a character. There's 180 emblems in the game, so it's a little bit difficult to do. But the character you unlock- Oh, fuck me! Come on. Alright, this is my last time. I'm wasting so much time on this. I'm wasting so much goddamn time on this. But okay, um... I'm just going to try one more time to get that emblem. Yeah, it's right there! Yeah, we can't get that shit. We can't get that shit. Maybe we can go on the bridge. <laughs> I really want to get it. I really, really want to get it. I, I really want to show off my skills playing with Sammy. I don't want to have to do this shit with Tails. I want to, I want to, I want to see if I can get that shit. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're close. We're close to it. We must be right there, because I remember seeing it really close to the bridge. Come on, man. Oh, wait a minute, it's... No. It's closer to the thing, but I thought it was near the bridge. Well, we have nine lives, I mean... We can, we can afford to lose some. Maybe. Come on, man. Okay, come on, we gotta... This camera. We were close. We were close. You know what? Alright, fuck it. That's not meant for us. That's not meant for Sonic. We gotta come back with Tails when we start playing as him. And do this that way. Shit. Alright, I wasted so much time on that. We haven't even explored what the island is yet. So, now, let's, let's actually run to the island rather than trying to get a freaking emblem that our character isn't even made to get. And, um, here we go. Here we go, this one. Let's go around. Does this place look familiar to you? Some of you recent Sonic fans may not know the relevancy of this place, but this is the goddamn Master Emerald Altar, baby. Where the Chaos Emeralds and the Master Emerald are supposed to be, but usually aren't because they're practically being used in every goddamn game, or at least they were. But yeah, as you guys can see, this is the Master Emerald. But if you notice, there's a piece of it missing. There's a piece of it missing right there. Right in front of it. There's a piece of it missing there. So, um... It was the, it's the reason, the reason why this island is not floating like it normally is, is because there's a piece of the Master Emerald missing. And if the Emerald is broken in any part, then the island stops floating. Kind of a crazy concept, but, I don't know, I guess it was kind of like a way to protect it. Okay. We are finally on our way to stop Eggman. At this point, the goddamn shit probably has flown into Neverland, because, you know, we, we, we took so long. All right. If only that monkey guard wasn't there. All right, let's see if we can kill it. Here we go. And now we can go inside. We beat it up, and now we can go. Inside. Surprisingly, the ship is still around. Ooh. I shouldn't be surprised. This game has no form of internal clock. We have to follow the egg carrier. I mean, the egg carrier. The egg carrier. Okay. I like this level a lot too, actually. The music's pretty good. I use some of it in my videos. In fact, I use a lot of Sonic music in my videos. Let's do it. Whew, that was close. This level, now this level kind of like marks the start of the difficult levels in Sonic Adventure. Cause this level kind of, you can't really you can't really run around crazy here because, you know, it's kind of like dangerous. If you run off to the side of like the wall or something, you're dead. Because, you know, as you can see, down there, there's, there's no, 
there's no way you want to fall down to that, so you gotta be kind of careful when you're navigating here. Especially in the later part of the sub. Let's do it. Oh, I like this part too, with the lava and explodes when you walk on it. Let's go! Explode! Here we go. This level's pretty cool, man. I like it. Alright. Oh, also, I discovered a neat little trick. If you charge up your light speed attack here, you are able to go through that whole canyon. Watch. Pretty cool. I always love doing that. But yeah. Like I said, this game isn't easy, man. You know, like, the levels do get somewhat difficult later on. The only reason I'm able to navigate them really well is because, you know, I've, I've been playing these ever since I was freaking 10 years old, so... That's the why I'm so good- Oh! Was I just talking about how good I am? Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really adept at this. As I'm playing through this, older now- Oh, come on! Oh, we're good. Man, as I'm playing through this older now, I'm just realizing all the bugs and glitches and camera quirkiness this game has, you know? I still love the game, of course, but you know, it's like, whoa, this game is really, really, like, it didn't age well at all, man. It didn't age well in the slums. Move forward by attacking the enemies. Here we go. Go back here, because we fucked up before. Let's go. I thought it was going to go down by the time we ran in front of us. Let's go. Ooh, it's such a tough puzzle. Get the life box. Oh, we missed it? Come on. Well, we can still get it, technically. A fucking monkey. There we go. Yeah, you see, you can use a light speed attack to get items, even if they aren't in your range of jumping. Pretty useful. I used to. I don't even know why we're climbing that. Thanks to the broken ass light speed dash, we can, um. You can just jump across this shit. Yeah, just like that, you see? You can use that light. You can use the spin dash for so much in this game. Oh, don't need to fall in the lava. This is my favorite part of this level. It's more speed oriented, you know? Before, it's more like platforming, but now, here, it's more about speed. Just getting through stuff before things get crazy. This is apparently an underground prison, so I um, just have to dash through this thing before it fills up with lava. Because everything will start to fill up with lava. Like, as you can see here... Oh, shit. Okay, it didn't start yet. The lava thing didn't start yet, but it will, trust me. How much time am I waiting for? I'm really good at this. Okay, so this place is gonna start filling with lava. Watch. Look, look, okay, it's rising. It's rising. It's rising. You see? Okay, it's rising. You see that? It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Okay, time to get out of here. It's gonna constantly rise. So if you're here when the lava is all the way at the top, then you're fucked. You're royally fucked because you have no way to get out of it. So you have to really be fast in this level. There's not even a timer on the screen which tells you that your time is limited. So, you know, you have to really move your ass. Oh, man, I fell. But thankfully, I had the barrier. I don't want to lose my rings at this point. You know, we got a lot of rings. Even though it doesn't matter because we we're not going to the child garden in this game. But still, you know, I like to be fancy with my shit. You see these guys? They're prisoners. And they're all inside the, um, the cages. They're all going to die because the lava is just rising. I think they're dead now. I think they're dead now. Yep, they're gone. They're dead. You see the lava rose and it swallowed them up. It's over, man. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I always thought there was something here, but there's not. There's nothing there. It's just like a place with stuff in it. Anyways, let's keep moving. At this point, 
You guys might be saying, how the hell is Sonic going to be able to keep up with a flying airship running through a damn volcano? You know, at this point, the egg carrier should be really far away. But, um, no sign of it here. So yeah, sadly, you probably missed it. But then again, Sonic does run at supersonic speed. Maybe we outran the damn thing and it's on its way to pass right now. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> Am I too obvious? Am I? So Sonic really has no way to get to it, so it's kind of a wrap. But... Hey, Sonic! It's motherfucking Tails in the building with the tornado. I'm glad you're okay. Remember, Sonic and Tails haven't seen each other in a long time from here, so that's why Sonic's like, oh shit, I'm glad you're alright, dude. Just in time, let's go fuck this nigga Eggman up. This is it, man. Now, you guys are about to see things. This game, Sonic Adventure 1, right now for you dudes, is about to get leveled up to something new. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Let's do it. Yeah, it's about to get real. It's about to get real. Let's go. Woo. So if you guys remember last time Sonic and Tails pursued Eggman and his egg carrier on the tornado, they got fucked up really badly because, you know, he had this big laser beam and he just killed them with it. But things are a little bit different this time around, you know? First off, Amy's life is on the line. And second, there are some adjustments made to the tornado. You guys will see. You guys will see. Let's go. Those things in the air are minefields. So those are minefields you have to fly through later on. Come on. The aiming. The stick is so sensitive, man. Yeah, we're getting hit. Come on. There we go. <laughs> so far, so good. Hope you know what you're doing. You bet. Watch this. This is the coolest part of this fight. A freaking arm comes out and picks Sonic up, cycle and starts <laughs> and then Oh my god, let's go Sonic! <laughs> oh man, I'm such a bad boy. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, I'm uh Yeah. I, I have a close bomb on my childhood. Now the tornado is faster. I think it can lock on to more enemies, I'm not 100 percent sure about that. But I know it's faster for a fact. This, this shit is really fast now. Oh man, yeah, you see we're, we're dashing all over this bitch right now. So Tails, he managed to repair the tornado. I mean, and he managed to um, give it a few extra features as well. So, pretty impressive on his part. Hopefully we won't get shot out the sky like we did before. Oh shit, we got shot right in the asshole. Another round around. The music is so crazy in this level. I'm trying to lock on to everything, that's why I'm getting shot. I'm really trying to lock on to stuff. This is such a freaking archaic aiming system, like, I mean, not, not, not the whole system with, you know, the lock on, but the shots, the shots that you can fire, are like so freaking outdated. Okay, here we go. This is a boss fight right here. We have to shoot. We have to shoot the inside of the ship. I think it's like as soon as. Oh shit. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're, we're... He's gonna die at this point. We have to just keep. Aiming. Just like that. It's that easy, man. All right. Not too much of a boss fight. It's still pretty cool. The fact that the tornado got upgraded. Very cool. So now, 
Sonic and Tails manage to um, destroy that huge laser cannon that the egg carrier has. So Alrighty, we're in. they're in. We gotta land on the egg carrier. Whoops. Uh, I forgot something. What's that? There's no landing gear in this mode. What? But don't worry, they still have a smooth landing. Huge! No time to clock now! We need to find Amy! You're right, my friend! So here we go! <laughs> I love the facial expressions. So yeah, the tornado is still in a... It's still okay, I think. Yeah, but the ship is kind of like fucked up. Wait, it's kind of fucked up. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. I thought there was a chaos emerald in it, but there's not. Anyways, we are here on the Egg Carrier, finally ready to bring this fight directly to Eggman Don't himself. Get too many ideas, you fools! You haven't seen the power this vessel really has! Get a load of this! The motherfucking ship transforms, man. Sonic's like, Darn. did this I see that? For us to of course to I did. Bridge. I hate it when he doesn't listen. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting this. The only way you can get to me is through the sky deck. I doubt if you can figure this one out. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, I'll show you. Bring it on. So yeah, the ship transformed and put a huge obstacle course between Sonic and the captain's quarters. So we have to run through this obstacle course that the ship transformed into to um, get to Eggman. And um, this is where we were before. Oh yeah, this is pretty cool too, actually. There's some stuff to discover here. Let's run into this. Pretty cool. Cannon. Just pop the lid open if you want to go in. If you want to get shot out somewhere, that is. Watch out though. After the transformation, it may put you into orbit. The transformation of the ship. So these things wouldn't have shot. Oh, look at that! There's an emblem in here. Ooh la la. But yeah, the ship transformed, and now these things shoot out really, really far. So that's what the thing was implying. I think it says the same thing. Wait, nothing in that one. There's another box here. See if there's anything interesting in there. Nothing in there. Okay, alright, so we discovered everything. At least in these cannons. And now, my friends, we can go straight to the sky deck. This must be the way to the sky deck. This level is the epitome of play safe because you can fall and die everywhere here. Except for the end. But, you know me, I'm a freaking pro, so, you know, I'm gonna play this the way I usually do. Let's keep moving. As you have to see, there are cannons that are trying to destroy the, the, um, the ground. But they won't hinder our progress too much. It's really, really fast. Let's go. Now, I'm navigating this like an expert, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, you know, even though it's been so long since I played this game, I'm still so good at it. I like this part just because it turns the camera towards Sonic. Boom! There we go. <laughs> Pretty cool, man. Well, let's get that magnetic shield. We're definitely gonna need that. At least it'll help us. Yeah, be careful here! Let's go. Yeah, like I said, this level, you gotta be careful, man. I mean, I remember when I was playing through it the first time as a kid. It's a dangerous level, man. It's an extremely dangerous level. Now. Oh, okay, Tails managed to get an item bubble. So, here we go, we're good. Oh, shit. Oh, I know how this level works, so I'm going to actually take a little bit of a shortcut myself. If I'm able, if I'm able to get up here first... Okay, shortcut time. Oh, nah, nah, okay, we, we still got a lot of progress done with that jump. 
We still got a lot of progress done. Alright, you see that big ass cannon? That's about to blow a huge hole into the platform. But, of course, we're Sonic, so we we're not going to be able to hit this one really, really fast. Um, Alright, here we go. Yeah, having that electric shield really helps. Just because, you know, we don't really have the time. Oh! That was almost our ass. Here we go, here we go. Alright, here we go. And the way that you destroy the cannon is by shooting a freaking rocket right into the center of it. This is my favorite part of the level. Let's go. This is let's go. This isn't my favorite moment of Sonic Adventure 1, but this is my favorite part of this level. Well yeah, at this part of the level, there's going to be like really strong winds. So you have to hold on to the world. hold on to these little pillars here so you don't get blown away. Let's go. This is a huge war ground right now. Let's do it. The fact that Sonic is able to just freaking destroy a whole freaking battalion of guns like this is insane to me. Even as a kid, I was like, oh my god, are you kidding me? Let's go! Oh shit, we got hit. We can't lose our rings, man. Let's go. This is crazy. Let's go. Coming through this thing. Woo! We destroyed them all. Let's go. Let's go. There's another side to this, actually. <laughs> you gotta be careful, because there's probably... Oh, man. No, no, no. Don't get blown off. Don't get blown off. Okay, yeah. As you guys can see, I'm not moving myself. I was... Oh, shit. You see this whole bottom part of the ship? It's all about to get destroyed. Look at this. It's all getting blown up. It's, it's all falling out. All right, we gotta start moving. Woo, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Keep moving, moving, moving! Oh my god, you guys saw that, right? It's all gone. It's all gone. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. And now there's a huge cannon. Just like the one that we saw before. To destroy a cannon, aim a rocket into its center when the cannon is horizontal. Okay, it's turning this way. Which way is it turning? Oh, what's going over there? No, no, we, we gotta be careful. I don't want to freaking... Okay, come on, we gotta follow the cannon. Follow the cannon. We're about to get hit. We're about to get hit. Oh, we locked out. Okay. This, is, this part of the level is pretty cool, too. You can't fall to your death here, but there's some crazy gravity stuff that goes on here. Let's go! Oh man! This level is crazy! There's three parts of this freaking level, man. Let's go! Sonic good! <laughs> yeah, shortcuts, bitch. I don't take the normal way. Let's go! Shortcuts! Shortcuts! Oh yeah, you see, as you guys can see, the whole freaking level changed gravity. Insane. Come on! What the hell? There we go. There we go. What the hell's going on here? I aimed at the spring. Yeah, this part of the level is really freaking complex. There's usually a shortcut to get past it, but I missed the shortcut because, you know, I was fucking around. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Oh wow, so now I think the level's gravity is going to be turned back to normal. It's not. We're kind of screwed. Man, I don't. I'm sorry, guys. I'm playing really faulty right now at this level. You know, I, it's it's kind of it kind of disorients you. You know, it throws you off. I gotta make sure I do these shortcuts right, because you know, otherwise we'll be spending a lot of time trying to progress here. Shortcut. There we go. Now we gotta 
take this shortcut. We gotta shoot ourselves to the top as far as possible. We didn't do it, we didn't do it, we didn't do it. There we go, oh, okay, we got, we got close though, we got close. Now we have to run down here. And there's another shortcut that we can take here to speed this up. We have to fall into the middle of that because this whole path is basically going to take us down there. But if we manage to fall, we can shorten the time take it takes. Okay, so now the ship is no longer turned around. We can run in here. And there is the end. Yes. Chaotic level, man. Absolutely chaotic level. <laughs> but very fun, still. As long as you know how to progress, then you're good. But it was very frustrating for me like remembering which ways to take when I was younger, you know. We did well though. Yeah, not bad. Not bad indeed. Emblem obtained, 14. Is that it? It might be. But let's check out the bridge. Sonic is a cocky bastard, man. Is that it? <laughs> Anyways guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.